Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well this Wednesday. I want to talk a little bit about supplements and vitamins and minerals and getting the proper nutrients your body needs, okay? I think it's a really important topic, especially since I talk about a lot of health topics, being healthy, being mentally healthy, physically healthy. Very, really important topic, okay? So I'm curious. I always ask at the beginning, well, I have been asking at least, do you take any supplements? Do you take any minerals or any sort of thing that your body may not get from food or you may be deficient in? Such as this, you know, protein drink. <laughs> Am I deficient? I don't know. I haven't I've never shown a deficiency, but some people say vegans can't, you can't get, you can't process any protein from any plant source. So it's like, yeah, I, I kind of kind of doubt doubt that. But anyway, <clears throat> being a vegan, a lot of people think you're so deficient in certain vitamins and minerals and everything. That's just not not the case. If you eat well and you take proper proper supplements, and I always say people should always take. Everyone pretty much should take vitamin B12 and vitamin D, mostly because those are not really absorbed well um, from the type of diet that we have. Like we don't really have very many foods that are rich in those sources and we're not out in the sun enough. That is why people get sick in the wintertime because of vitamin D lowering so much. It's not so much vitamin C. I mean, vitamin, you always think vitamin C for your immune system. I mean, that can help but it's primarily vitamin D that will help fight against colds and has been shown to be probably the most effective tool against the flu, okay? Not, not what you think it is, no, 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 not, not, not what the news and, and, and your doctor says it is, no, it's, it's a vitamin D is the ultimate way because that's your body's natural way of boosting your immune system and that's been, been shown time and time again that when you take vitamin D, you, you don't get sick as often. That's not going to prevent you entirely, mind you, okay? I still get, get a sick occasionally. I got sick, uh, I'm going to say, the middle of this year or so. It was actually in summertime, but I think because I was just under so much stress because I was just so, so busy and just doing way too, too much, and it was just... It was overwhelming for me, so I had to calm it down. I had to calm it down. I was doing multiple different projects. I was, had all mo multiple different jobs that I was working with and working on. It was not good. It was not good, but anyway, so regarding supplements, I take vitamin D and vitamin B12. And vitamin D is not technically vegan unless you buy the vegan kind. It comes from sheep's wool. Okay. But I get the vegan kind my, my vitamin levels have been fine. They've been tested. They're actually going to be tested really soon, so you'll be able to see the results of that over the next probably week and a half. I'll get the results back. So, <clears throat> yes, yes. <clears throat> so, I don't take any, really any other supplements for the most part. Vitamin D, vitamin B12 is mostly it. I do, there are a few other miscellaneous things that I don't take as often or every a day or so. Like I actually do take a little bit of uh, iodine every a day, every morning. Just a little drop. I forget how much it is, but it's, you know, it's that's also another mineral that at least here in the United States we're deficient in helps your thyroid. Um, in other countries, like in like in Asian countries, like in like in Japan, they they consume a lot of iodine because they eat a lot of seafood, seaweed, that sort of stuff, which has a lot of iodine, natural iodine in it. So if you're eating kelp every day, if you're eating seaweed salads and seaweeds and a bunch of different stuff like that, you're probably fine on iodine. You probably are. You know, I, I do love that. I do consume that quite a bit, but I don't consume it every day. I don't consume it probably as much as I could, you know, but 
at the dose that I'm taking, it's really not that big of an issue. Let's see what else. I also take just once or twice a week, I take a DHEA, which that was for like testosterone. At this point, my testosterone has gone up quite a bit. I think it's due, honestly, to this. Why this? Because I have creatine in this. I, I consume this maybe four, four or five times a week. I think that's really boosted my testosterone. <laughs> So I actually had to cut back a little bit on it because I noticed like I was starting to grow more hair. My uh, facial hair was getting thicker. My voice was getting deeper and lower. I was like, oh, that's some powerful stuff right there. Because my testosterone has, has been low before. Mm. And really the only other supplement I take is the Joy Organics CBD. And, you know, I don't take that every day. I kind of alternate. I, I, there are a few days I take it, and then I go off of it for a little bit. You can say 15%, joyorganics.com, A-U-T-15. Say 15%. So let me actually, I guess I can, I can show you real quick, and then I'm curious to know what supplements you take, if any. Because so ideally you want to get everything from food, but that's not always possible. So that's kind of why I take what I what I do. Okay. Joy Organics CBD AUT15 if you want to save. Global Healing Center B12. I'm actually running low. Take that once a week. That's it, just once a week. Vegan D3 by Sports Research. These are uh, ca uh, capsules. I was taking a liquid, but they discontinued it on the way I was, uh, the way I, that I was getting it. So this is what I'm taking now. I take this once a day. This is 5,000 units. DHEA Complete. I just take this probably once or twice a week. Sometimes I, I forget the other dose, but that's it. Um, this is promotes optimal hormone levels and weight management. I'm not using it for weight management. I can guarantee you that. Um, I don't take it every every day as it is anyway, but this definitely helps. Let me tell you, these what I these are what I call horny pills. You, it doesn't really happen as much anymore. I, actually, I think, I, think, I think it still does. I just don't pay attention to it as much anymore. I take this Half hour later, after it goes through my system, first thing in the morning, oh, I am horny. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Uh, so that's pretty much what I take daily. And just, you know, the, the hormones that I take every, every day. And that's pretty much it. And then, you know, this protein drink with creatine. The protein drink is kind of like a multivitamin. So it has a variety of different vitamins and minerals in it. I used to take a multivitamin, but I don't any, any anymore. I didn't find any use for it really, uh, especially if I'm having this. This is this acts as a multivitamin, so there's really no no point. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So curious to know what you take, if you take anything, and let me answer some of your your questions in the previous video, or we just read off your comments. It was about sleep. If you sleep too much. And why you shouldn't sleep too much. No, no, no. You definitely should not. Okay. Let me just see real fast. Yeah. If you sleep too much, you're going to have a bad time. Right? You're going to have a bad time. Okay. Just got to see something real fast. All right. So... Our first comment from Stephanie says, sleep is sacred for me. If I get eight hours in, that's a victory for me. Usually I run on six to seven hours because of motherhood. Yeah, sleep is definitely very, very useful. And you should always think of it as a, a sacred thing, absolutely, because you're relaxing your mind and your body and you're connecting to your to your higher self, I guess you could you could compare it to. 
And that's a good good way of putting it, good way of seeing it, and why you should always value it because it, it's fuel for your uh, body essentially. It's how you go go about things and how you can um, improve your uh, your life by getting adequate sleep, being healthy. Kryptonite says, you're not the first person, not the only one, uh, but I also sleep too much. Definitely got to prove that there. Every weekend, I don't even wake up until 12 or 1 midday. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, definitely got to improve that there. P. Jing says, I'm in a bad habit of eating junk food to sleep. Yeah, that's definitely not not a good good there at all. But thank you for sharing that. Um, if you can find something healthier for for you, for your mind and your body, that would be certainly a much better option there. It really would would, would be so. Hopefully, you'll be able to find something that's even better to help you sleep. Jess says, usually when I try to have a nap, I end up sleeping for four hours. See, that's what a lot of people do. And guess what? That's not a nap. That is sleep. <laughs> Four hours is pretty much sleep. <laughs> that is not a nap. So if that happens to you, then you need to learn to set an, set, an, set an alarm. I don't have to set an alarm because my body's used to it, but if that's what you need, if that's what you need to do, then do it. Debbie says, only take naps when I am sick. Lava Girl says, I get sad this time of year. Seasonal affective disorder. Indeed, if you're taking vitamin D, that can help. That, that is actually one of the remedies for seasonal affective di disorder. Because vitamin D surprisingly does help with depression. Because they can, low, low vitamin D levels can cause depression. So there you go. Katie Litter says, I average five to seven, seven hours a night and usually take a nap in the evening. Hopefully your nap's about 20 minutes long because that's a good adequate a number of sleep there if you do about five to six hours a night plus 20 minute nap it's pretty good and then Aaron says I feel like this I've been sleeping way too much and my sleep schedule is becoming a massive problem I am napping regularly and tossing and turning at night and sleeping all morning I do a fair amount of editing in my job and I have about 700 pages to edit by Friday I gotta get it together so Aaron, yeah, that is that is a big problem there. And if if it's it's okay to nap regularly if you have a plan and you are you know only doing it for about twenty minutes, and that allows you to be able to stay up later if you're taking that nap. So the reason why you're probably tossing and turning a lot of times is maybe you're not tired. That is what I discovered. I discovered. I'm not going to go to sleep until I'm tired. I'm not going to go into that bed, toss and turn around for like two hours and waste my time when I'm not actually tired. I'm going to go in there when I'm actually tired. Okay? So that is what I do. That is how I see things. And that is what I have done to actually help some, some things out. I mean, obviously, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than what it was just tossing and turning for like two hours. And it's like, ugh. But yeah. That was it. Again, let me know your thoughts. Have a great day, and uh, I will catch you again later, all right? You all take care. Bye-bye.